where you at? No five listeners. It's everyone's favorite day of the week. That's right. It's another good news Friday. Lo fi Palace are coming at you. Michael Pickering here. How you doing? What you got going on this weekend? Everybody got them big plans going. It's going into the last week of July. And then, oh, August is almost here. And let's go. Fresh off that press, that good news Friday for you. Let's get with the goodness. Oh, yeah. NASA news, because we always got to get our space on. <laughs> yes, indeed. So we all know NASA's collecting rocks on Mars to bring them back, uh, you know, in about 10 years or so. You know, we'll see how that works out. But we, fingers crossed. And we, what are we doing up there? We are looking for life and all that jazz. But how? Are they going to get those rocks aboard a rocket? Mm-hmm with helicopters. I love this. NASA announced they're developing, or already developed, basically, two helicopters, mini helicopters with wheels that weigh four pounds each, and they're going to fly them around Mars, because why the hell not? I mean, I, I, please, please let me play with these drones, NASA. I mean, I'll do it for you. I promise I will only wreck one of them, but one of them I'll leave intact. And, and a question for you out there, you know, how much would you pay for an authentic space jacket? Meaning a jacket worn in space. Think on it. Would you pay $2.8 million for it? Because that's what an auction house out of New York said Buzz Aldrin's flight jacket from the Apollo 11 mission went for. $2.8 million. I mean, that jacket's old, like 1968. It's not vintage, it's not throwback, it's not retro, it's old and probably smelly and... Who, who the fuck, why the fuck, and come the fuck on? People, if you got 2.8 mil to spare, Lo-Fi Global Media is waiting for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But how much would you pay for an authentic Gorgosaurus skeleton? Think on it. And if you wonder what a Gorgosaurus skeleton is, it's kind of like a T-Rex, but not. Got a number? I wonder, is it six million fucking dollars? Same auction house as the space jacket, but someone bought a Gorgosaurus skeleton, T-Rex looking, for six million dollars. And people, I mean, granted, I think this is a way cooler buy than a stinky old space jacket that's out of fashion. But come on, really? And another question for you out there. You ever got involved in a hit and run and, you know, just you... you don't know what to do when and, and you're looking for the cops but the cops ain't there and you're just like standing there and you're like oh think on it well if you're lucky you'll be in wiltshire england near the malmesbury animal sanctuary where police like or rather good samaritan like emus will aid in the chase Yes, we can't make this shit up. Shout out to Kayla for sending it in. This is amazing, okay? Two people in a truck roll into a storefront, all right? And they run off. They just... And then one of them jumps into a field of emus. And bam! I mean, emus on the case. Yeah. This is lovely, all right? The emus went at him because apparently he was being mean to an emu in their house. I mean, come on, people. Have you ever seen an emu? These birds are not small at all. And I would never walk into a gang of emus' house and start talking trash. Oh, hell no. And what happened? Police did eventually catch these two hit-and-run suspects. And the emus are all happy and unharmed. Help the African people support the emus. Never know when you're going to need an emu at your side. And a last piece of news to send you on your way for the weekend. After Wednesday's bitch session which I did Tuesday night, mind you. But on Wednesday, I got those two pieces of data I needed. And today, finished my outline, finished my data, and started writing again. I am almost there, peeps. Almost. And that's a brief snapshot of what's going on in the world today. Saturday, catch this month's issue of Letters of the Lo-Fi poli and check out our blog post up later today. And it's not a cliche or a catchphrase, it's a lifestyle. Always remember that Lo-Fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you soon, Lo-Fi listeners. Pickering, signing off.